this paleo diet concept works. And it's not a fad. It works with our genetics. It, it works in synchrony with the way that we're supposed to live instead of antagonistically to, to how we're supposed to live. It limits uh, certain foods that are deleterious to health. And that may be a heartbreak for, for some people, but that's just the way it is. And where other books have tried to uh, uh, make these Faustian bargains with the devil and still allow you to have foods that are going to damage your health, uh, we, we set out a, a, an intervention, both in my book and what Professor Cordain did with his work, which w we want to see you succeed. We want to, to get you healthy. So we uh, make recommendations that actually work, that are livable, and livable on the long time scale so that this isn't a diet, it's a lifestyle. I start very basic with the uh, kind of actually describing my story where I, I came from being a state champion powerlifter, a competitive kickboxer, changed my nutrition in a particular way and became sick as a consequence. And then over the course of time, learned how to regain my own health, uh, shared that information with you know literally thousands of people, started receiving feedback. And, and so it tells a story, you know, it starts with my story, grows into a story of, of working with thousands of people. And then it transitions into actually describing the basic science and it, it genetics, biochemistry, endocrinology behind this whole Paleolithic solution to explain why it works. And then we get into the practical implementation. You don't need to understand any of the why to do it. And I, I make that point repeatedly in the book. You, you, you know, if you want to bypass all the geek stuff, jump right in and do it, and you will reap all the benefit. You don't need to understand it at all. The, the book was almost a self-defense move because I, uh, the blog was very, very popular. Uh, the seminars that I provide have been very popular for the past three to four years. And initially, the plan for the book was very conservative. It was just going to be a, a field guide for folks to read before they came in so that we could prep them on the basics of digestion, uh, endocrinology, like insulin and glucagon, and how those things influence body fatness and health, and uh, uh, discussing things like a, a grain intolerance and how that influ influences digestive health and whatnot. And then over the course of time, it just grew larger and larger. And much of what's driving the growth of uh, Paleolithic nutrition is an awareness of like grass-fed meat versus grain-fed meat, of sustainable fish harvest, of local sustainable organic agriculture. And, and uh, so that's a very exciting trend, and it's an all-encompassing trend. It's a lifestyle trend. People are changing whole value systems, and that's something that will stick for sure. And so it influences uh, public policy, it influences economics, and it's going to influence the, the direction that research goes.